Habanero. 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 As you can see, neither one of us can say the word. Hello, fellow sneakerheads. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Kicks and Politics. I am the fly connoisseur of truth teller young skills. And I am the outrageous neighbor, Mr. Mr. Trooper Man. And on today's episode, we will be discussing 2019 December vibes. Shoe number one on our list for the 2019 December vibes is the Jordan 12 Dark Gray. What y'all are looking at right here is that white leather on the upper along with the gray on the mud guard heel and outer sole. We got red accents coming up the tongue and heel and to me that's what separates it from the 2003 Flint Gray Edition 12s. Now these shoes are retailing for $190 and can be found at Nike.com. This is the Jordan 12 Dark Gray. Shoe number two on the 2019 December's Vibes list is the Nike SB Jordan 1 Low Desert Ore. What we have here is a beautiful shoe, people. This shoe was also named after Lance Mountain because in 1980, Lance Mountain was photographed wearing a shoe that inspired this sneaker right here. What we have here is a Desert Ore UNC Blue and Royal Blue sneaker. The Desert Ore covers the entire upper and it's a thin canvas like material. So over time, when you wear this shoe, it reveals the true nature of the shoe, which is the mismatch themed shoe. One is Royal Blue and one is UNC Blue. This shoe retails for $120 and it releases this Friday, December 6th. Shoe number two is the Nike SB Jordan 1 Low Desert Ore. Shoe number three on our list for the 2019 December Vibes is the Patrick Ewing 33 High Rookie of the Years. What y'all are looking at right here is that premium basketball leather on the upper along with gold hardware on the strap and white and black on the midsole. Now these shoes right here commemorate Patrick Ewing winning the NBA 1986 Rookie of the Year Award. These shoes are retailing for $125 right now at EwingAthletics.com. This is the Patrick Ewing 33 High Rookie of the Year. Shoe number four on the 2019 December Vibes list is the Air Jordan 4 Winterized Royal Blue. Now, mark my words, here at Kicks and Politics, we sometimes make predictions, and I do predict that this shoe right here will be released in the winter of 2020 in another colorway called Winterized. This shoe features a canvas-like leather material never seen before on any other Jordan, so it's hard to describe without the shoe being in hand, but as you can see from the photos, it's a beautiful shade of blue. You have that royal blue on the upper, falling on a black midsole, and you also have hits of gray and white on the outer sole. This shoe has habanero. How do you say it, Trooper? <laughs> habanero. 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 Ha no. No. Haban habanero. Habanero. As you can see, neither one of us can say the word. Habanero. This shoe has that color red <laughs> and white flowing throughout. This is a beautiful shoe. It releases December 21st for $200. Shoe number four is the Air Jordan 4 Winterized Royal Blue. All right, y'all, it is time for Now, now or Never. Y'all know how we do. We show you the shoe. If it's a now, you gotta have it. If it's a never, then you wouldn't grab it. So let me kick this off with the Nike Undercover Reacts. What y'all are looking at is that black on the upper along with the blue accents on the mid and outer sole. These actually come with an airbag in the collar as well as an air pump to give it that customized fit. These are retailing for $250 and technically this is a boot, but nonetheless, I still picked it for the now or never. Now for me, this is definitely a never. It looks like they took a roller blade and chopped the wheels off and presented it as a boot. I don't like it at all. Um, 
Not really used to uh, airbags being in my shoes, much less my boobs. Yeah, this is definitely a never. I'm not feeling this. I don't really like rollerblades. I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with y'all. Yeah, like I said, I, I, I can't do it. This is definitely a never. Bro, ham, how you feel about these right here? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like in a car crash, the only thing that will be protected are your ankles. You know how it is, people. It don't matter what I think, and it don't matter what you can think. What matters is what you think. And could you please leave your comments below, people? This is Call V. Nike Undercover Reacts. My selection for the Now or Never segment is the Nike ISPA Joyride. Ooh. 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 I know what you're thinking, but hold your thoughts. Nike <laughs> designed this beautiful shoe with three plush cushioning parts on the bottom. However, this shoe also was designed for durability and quickly accessing your foot, meaning you can take this off and take this on with ease. This shoe has a unique build and it comes directly from a freezer bag. Let's get into it though. This shoe comes in two distinct colorways. One being the all black colorway with white accents. We're not talking about that beautiful shoe. We're gonna be talking about this shoe, the light blue Joyride. All right, the light blue Joyride has black, dark gray, orange, and hits of blue throughout the upper. It also all falls on a white midsole and a translucent outer sole. This shoe retails for 200 whopping dollars and already released in November, so it's available right now. You can go buy this today. This is a hell no. <laughs> what the f they were thinking? Designing this bullshit. This shoe looks like, like if you arguing with somebody and you tell them, I'ma whoop your ass, but they real far away, it looks like you can just mail your foot and deliver the ass whooping to wherever they are, and it's gonna get there. This shoe is horrible. I hate this shoe, everything about it. I can't believe it's a real shoe. True, but what do you think about this? This right here uh, looks like a fanny pack, man. This looks like the fanny pack Nike 23,000. VV at man, this is garbage, bro. <laughs> Definitely a never, never ever. This looks like a shoe for somebody who likes to go swimming and then bike riding immediately follow. All I'm right, said I can't do it, but it don't matter what I think. It don't matter what skills they what matters is what y'all think. So leave your comments in the box. This is the Nike Joyride envelopes. If you made it this far, that means you're still rocking with us and thank you for the love and support, people. We've made it to Kick of the Day. And Kick of the Day for today is the Travis Scott, the Cactus Jack, Air Force One. Fabrics on the upper, I mean, everything from canvas to leather to corduroy, corduroys, felts, all of that sitting on a cell midsole. This is garbage. I don't like it at all. I don't get this. I don't know what the science behind it. I don't even know what the point of putting this on the front was. Like, what's the point of that? Gotta How would they do that? Travis, what's going on? Gotta bro? be different, man. What's going on? And then man? when you take it off, you can see the actual tongue a lot better, though. Even with it off, this is still garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, like, Coleroy, man, like, come on, man. And it, yeah. You can match everything with this shoe. Travis, you could have did a whole lot better, Mo. Would you pay $550 for this shoe right here? I wouldn't pay $50 for this shoe right here. This is <laughs> And like we always do at this time, people, I am the fly connoisseur, truth teller, young skill. And I am the outrageous neighbor, Mr. Mr. Trooper Man. And you've been watching Kicks and Politics. Thank you for the love and support, people, especially those subscribers. We will see you on the next episode.